Hello everyone and welcome back to the letters B. My name is Bobby and today I'm going to show you how to create a shiny logo effect. Before we start the tutorial though, I would like to mention that this video is the unofficial second part of the shiny text effect tutorial. I wanted to have both variations covered so people that are going to look for one of these effects will find what they are looking for. I hope for your understanding. Now let's start with the actual video. We are going to create two video tracks, import our logo and place it in the lower video track. Also, make sure your logo is transparent. Then, we are going to duplicate our logo once and place it above the original one. Open up the pan and crop window of the logo copy and activate masking. Then, click on the rectangle or square mask creation tool and create a mask similar to this one in front of the logo. After that, simply rotate it just like that and close the pan and crop window for now. As we move on, we're gonna look for the effect called Levels in our video VideoFX tab and drag the Brighten preset onto the logo copy. Here we can adjust the input end so the shininess of our logo will increase or decrease. At the end, open your pan and crop window of the logo copy one last time and go back to the masking section. Make sure you're at the beginning of the timeline. Then, move 20 frames forward and move the mask behind the logo. To do that, simply click on your mask once, then right click, choose the option select and click on all. Now you can move the whole mask by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. After that, close the pan and crop window and you are good to go. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you want to support the channel, be sure to subscribe, like and comment so I can actually see that I could help you. Also, if you want awesome videos like this one more frequently, be sure to check out my Patreon page by clicking on the annotation at the end of the video or the link in the video description. 